almost no car it's a really difficult place to get a hitchhike let's hope we can get one before it gets dark because it's really cold here now i am at yakaulang it's like maybe 100 kilometers from Bandamir. They only one road and this is it. It's just a small town. The Taliban intelligence officer approach us and as usual they ask for... Okay, so we got to leave uh, by uh, another tourist from UK. Uh, it's Charlie. It, uh, uh, it's so let's get him. of this gate welcome to Bandamir National Park Woo. so we're gonna go there while waiting for car or truck to pass by that will give us a lift Woo. you can see a truck in the distance usually that will be our best chance the truck I know there's also a red car hopefully we can either of them almost no car and the few cars that pass by, they are full. Actually, there was a truck, but I don't know, it doesn't stop. So, yeah, it's a really difficult place to get a hitchhike. Let's hope we can get one before it gets dark because it's really cold here. It's like 3200 meters above sea level. It's around 12 degrees Celsius right now, and it's dropping really fast. Okay, so, we gotta leave. Thank you to our friends here. And he, hello everyone. Oh, Hi. And uh, yeah, at the back also. Duke. Yeah, thank you. So we're gonna go. Huh? Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. My phone is not good. Yeah, I know my phone is not that good. <laughs> Thank you. So we are getting leave now. Thank you. Now we are going to Yakawang. Hi everyone. So now I am at Yakawang. It's like maybe 100 kilometers from Bandamir. So we got a ride, but actually it's a taxi. So the driver asked us to pay each 150. Well, I think it's a fair price, but my friend is a bit disappointed because we need to pay. And one of the passengers is actually a professor from Bamiyan. So we talk a lot and share a lot. And he said if there is anything uh, we need, then we can call him and he will help. So we're gonna stay in this hotel in Yakaula. Uh, it's 300 Afghani. It's just, you know, just mattress and blanket. So let's go. Hey friends, so this is the 300 Afghani hostel. Per person 150? Per, per person 150. Actually, there's a big room. I think if you stay there, maybe per person 100, you share with a lot of people. But it's okay, we need safety. And we got a lock here, so we can lock the door at least. But we cannot lock it from outside, no key. So, yeah, basically, take care of your belongings. Uh, I will take a bath first, and later maybe we go out and see the town of Yakawang or something like that. I postponed my shower because I thought if I go out, I get dirty again. I'll shower later. So again, this is Yakaulang. I think there are different spellings, but basically it's Yakaulang. It's somewhere 100 kilometers west of Bandamir. And tomorrow we will uh, look for a fight again towards the west to Gur province. And if possible, to see the minaret of Jam. And here's the city. I think uh, the main produce here is this one, onion, because you can see onion everywhere. Tomatoes also. Uh, I think only one road and this is it. It's just a small town. And I heard there's actually a Buddhist stupa near here. Later I ask around if it's not too far, we can actually just visit it. Other than selling agriculture products like onions, a lot of uh, people here I see they are carpenter see like that one also a 
very cool let's go to the end of the road this is a very small town I'm already at the end of the street end of the town and a lot of home industry baking bread and also some grocery stores here and it's really cold here actually yeah because my jacket is very thin and this is very interesting so the professor who I met on the way here he told me there's actually an ancient Buddhist stupa here in Yakawang but I don't know where it is and I don't know whether I can ask locals but if it's somewhere it's probably around those hills and now I want to look for some snacks maybe french fries if they are let's go that side this is the small town Yakawang and see, some of the kids want to be in the video as well. Now he's approaching Duke. And now we are at the place where they sell clothes. It's just this much. It's good enough for a small city. And I think these are second, second hand clothes, yeah? I'm not sure. Yeah, if you need jacket, I think maybe I should buy one. But no need. Korea. Now my friend is very interested with the clothes from China, secondary, second hand. See, like from, from school in China. Just now, the Taliban intelligence officer approached us and as usual, they asked for our passport and fortunately now we have a permit from Kabul and this time the permit really works so that's the good news so get your permit in Kabul and everything will be very smooth the whole process only took about 15 minutes, 20 minutes if you don't have the permit like we did last time in Kunduz, in Samangan it can take 3 hours at least can be five six or seven okay so we're back on the main street now i'm looking for some dinner maybe some snacks ikuti terus bang jago sampai jumpa